Hey, it's time to bond this group with the healing power of nature. <laughs> Can't fail. I know having your phone stolen has wound you up, but it's getting to you more than I thought. Why? Because I'm trying to bring some positivity back to this competition. Those kids are never going to win that Earl D Award if they're fighting with us and with each other. And what's all this stuff? Well, if yesterday's taught us anything, is that we're never going to get anything done while we're all stressed out and while the pressure's on. Understatement. Two days till the presentation. So I think we need to regroup as a team. Be one with each other and with nature, so we're meditating. No way. Tony's gone cosmic. I don't know. Meditating's kind of cute. Helps clear the mind, you know. Crawler. Hey, you're just in time for our forest bathing. Forest what? Well, I've already had a shower. Yeah, very funny. Where's Mason? Oh, he dropped out. He's helping Lizzie at the love boat. We're another body down. We don't have time for this. Hey, panicking will get us nowhere, Bo. Right, come on. Get yourself comfy. Once we've all centred ourselves, we'll be ready to spring into action like a fully bonded team and win you that award. Let's start breathing. In, out. I think it's really cool that you're into all this other world stuff. In. It's really extra. And out. Could you be more embarrassing? In. He's not interested. It's not like that. And out. Shut up. Hey, come on, guys. Right, ready? Clear those blockages. <clears throat> All clear now. Can we go? <laughs> really? Are you like 12? Hey, come on, guys. Settle down. OK. In. And out. In. And out. OK. So I tried to treat you all like responsible young adults. That failed miserably. So here's another form of team bonding. Bo, break out the pickers. This park is a mess. We can't present the skills we learned on Friday with it looking like this, so I want all this litter picking up by this afternoon. Sorry, but you guys are on your own for this one. I've got to get to Mr. McQueen's art class. What, so wearing some chain gang and she just gets to go off and draw balls of fruit? It's not Freya's fault, it's yours. If you were so desperate to have everyone's attention, none of us would have left. Hey. Less arguing, more clearing. If you all work together, you have it done in no time. I'll see you back here in one hour with bulging bin bags. Lucas! All right, I guess we're stuck together. Get us a bin bag, Ray. Hey, someone's stashed a bag down here. No, Dylan, leave it. It's just... Hey, this is my phone. This is all of our phones. Are you the phone snatcher? We're just fed up of everyone taking the mick out of me for my stupid hand-me-down phone, so... So what? You still ask for revenge? For the money, stupid. Some of them phones are pretty decent. I thought if I'd sell them, I'd get enough money to buy myself one. Why'd you leave them lying around a bag all this time, then? If I rocked up to school flashing some brand spanking new phone the day after all yours go walkies, it's a bit obvious. We're not getting any money from mine. Right. I swear, if you've gone through my photos... As if. Bad enough having to look at you in real life. I have to give them back, even if you just say you were pranking us. Yeah, right. Probably picked mine out and everything. What makes you think I'm gonna keep quiet? Petty crime might be in your second nature, but it's not in mine. You can't grasp me up. Ali would have me arrested just out of spite. Yeah, well, you should have thought about that before, shouldn't you? You know, I'll make this easy for you. You either admit what you've done by tomorrow or I'll do it for you. It's your choice. 